Joe and I are doing another How to Bridge, and for a quick maybe two minutes, we're going to be spending that on Miner. But the main part of this video is going to be on Bomber, the much less used kit. So, Miner, basic facts is that you get an unbreaking stone pickaxe at the start, and you have an ore locator that has a recharge of 30 seconds. So, basically, this ore locator, depending on the pickaxe, it will locate coal if stone. Iron if iron, and diamond if it's a diamond pickaxe. So that's the ore locator, and it has a recharge of 30 seconds. Caving. Now, it's also useful to know all the caves on each map. For example, my favorite map, Volcanic, has lots and lots of caves. It's useful to know these areas because open areas usually provide a decent ore spawn. So don't worry, there will be a map guide featuring all the caves on each map that I know. So the thing about miner is typically you won't manage to get full diamond, but it's always better to rush with what you have rather than staying in the mine. Many times players will actually have a lot of diamonds on them, but they just get killed because they can't get up to craft. Miner is typically not very useful after the bridge spawn, so it's best to get out of the cave. Alright, now I didn't want to spend too much time on Miner because Miner is pretty basic and all that, so let's get on to Bomber. Bomber is TNT that is given to you every 30 seconds with a max of 2 TNT being able to be held in your storage. So... Typically, as Bomber, is a good idea to make craters, so if you've probably seen lots of players do, I know what makes craters so good. One, provides you a chance to knock players into it, also provides a good chance of you getting good ore spawn. For example, with Miner, that's a thing, if you find a huge area, a huge open area, there's a better chance of getting ore, so that's just self-explanatory. Typically, while being Bomber, it's possible to survive an explosion from th a three block radius. This is actually a huge bug in my opinion, but it's actually possible to block yourself up so where you won't take the full TNT damage if you find yourself in a sticky situation. If you distance yourself at least three blocks away from the TNT and place two blocks in front of yourself to guard from your boot area to your helmet area, it's actually possible to avoid the full damage to the TNT. This, in my opinion, should be patched, however, because it does make the kit extremely useless if it comes down to the point of actually of trying to kill people with TNT, for example, the achievement that requires you to kill five people with TNT in one game, which we will have a guide on soon. Bomber Kid's really good for getting away from sticky situations, as I mentioned. For example, you can use the TNT to stop players from getting to you because oftentimes the TNT is very slow, yet it will discourage a player from chasing you unless they are a berserker, they'll just leap right through it. But typically it can be used in that way as well. And it's also pretty good for blowing up cave entrances, mid, and laying waste at the bottom of a sky base. So typically, it's also a good idea, instead of throwing TNT above a sky base, to place it below the sky base to where you can blow up the floor and let the people fall below. So, kit nerfs slash buffs. In my opinion, I think bomber TNT is a bit too slow, as I mentioned. For example, you can't use it at all to get away from players who are berserkers or anything that... Or it's often not that hard to evade that TNT. Also, I feel like the radius for the blast should be extended, if anything, because, like I said, it's a lot harder to get the Death Bomber achievement, or sometimes the block, well, the TNT will actually manage to glitch through walls, and it won't do the full damage to the player. Also, I feel like it should be given this sort of buff that is similar to Bomb Lovers, yet similar to Sky Wars, to where it's allowed, a, to where it's allowed to be thrown three to four blocks, and deal damage as a direct hit, like in Bomb Lovers. So it can't be lunged across islands. Miner, in my opinion, is actually the most balanced kit in Bridges. However, there is the speculation about its Haste 2. So with Haste 2, you can obviously mine faster and a lot of other good stuff, but it is also speculated that it allows you to get better hit registration, deal more knockback, there are things like that that I actually can't confirm. However, I don't believe it's a matter of the knockback, but I more so believe the hit registration because it allows you to click faster and does get better hits. Okay, kit upgrades. So for level 10, I feel like the ore scan for miner should be decreased to 25 seconds. It's just a basic, basic reduction of the cooldown for level 10. For level 30, increasing the radius for ore scan by 5 to 7 blocks. Easy to get diamonds or iron or whatever you're looking for as miner. Level 50, reduce cooldown to 20 seconds for the ore scan. That way, it's still not getting to a point where it's, it's extremely broken, but it can be used three times a minute. As for level 80, miners receive a furnace as well. So that way, like I said with the algorithm, I was planning on giving miners and all kinds of other kids some, some decent items to start off with as well. That will give them some type of leg up in the game. Level 100, Auto smelt for ores. So I know a lot of people are really huge fans of that in Speed UHD and in Sky Wars. 
So I thought it actually would be a really cool kit upgrade ad for Miner at level 100. Mainly because I don't think anybody would go that high with Miner or Archer or any kit like that. But I feel like it should get auto smell because it's a lot... I feel like it's really worthy of level 100. It really would make players use Miner more to even get close to reaching that. As for level 10 with Bomber, I feel like it should be decreased to 25 seconds. So that's the first for the TNT being received. As for level 30, decreasing the TNT speed to however... So currently the TNT has 4 second cooldown with it being blown up. So I feel like it should be reduced to 3 seconds for level for level 30. So that the TNT has a better chance of blowing the player up. Because it's actually really hard to kill somebody with TNT. Level 50, increase the storage to 4 TNT. Level 80, decrease the cooldown to 20 seconds for the, for the receiving of the TNT, allowing players to get 3 TNT per minute. For level 100, I suggested either A, Explosive Arrow, or B, a, a mode to where it can be turned into a proximity explosive. So the thing with a proximity explosive, if you ever played Dom or any champion's game mode, is that it can be thrown on the ground and then it becomes a solid item to where it can actually knock a player high in the air. Or, in my opinion, I feel like this should be reduced. I feel like it should be reduced, the knockback that it does to a player, and probably the damage too, so that it's not super OP. Again, that's just a suggestion, but if anything, it would be a second mode to where the TNT can still be used in the same way it was, so it can blow up ores and all of that. And it cannot work on teammates, hopefully. So yeah, that's going to do it for How to Bridge, Miner, and Bomber. If you enjoyed, do like, comment, and subscribe and some more. And keep on the lookout for the Achievement Guide, which will be coming out soon, and for, and for Competitive, which will also come out soon. And for the Map Guide, which will also come out soon after. So this is Nerds telling you to stay awesome, subscribe, and of course, have a nice game.